In your book, you have a couple of chapters uh, that deal with diet and weight gain. Mm -hmm. How does that coincide with, with the problem with stress? Well, for a lot of people, that's the way that, that stress shows itself mm -hmm. because it affects hormone function, whether it's from the thyroid not working well and or from blood sugar imbalances. Anytime that we eat too many carbohydrates at one time, not just sugar, I mean, sugar makes it easy, but if we have even healthy carbohydrates, say potatoes or rice, if it's too much carbohydrate for our insulin to manage at that one point in time, the body has to do something with that extra carbohydrate. What it tends to do is either put it in fat storage around our waist or in fat storage in the liver. Either one is only gonna create more stress and inflammation for the body. So this is how I look at you know, the stress of eating where, you know, especially when we are stressed, we tend to choose high carbohydrate mm -hmm. foods. So we're, again, perpetuating the pattern. So preparing yourself ahead of time, maybe have, always have healthy snacks in your car, in your desk, in your refrigerator, things like almonds, walnuts, cashews, because they have healthy protein and fats, mm -hmm. but they're not going to be uh, this high carb. It's just going to keep your blood sugar balanced so that you can get through the next couple hours and have you know foods in your freezer that you can easily cook and have ready quickly so when you get home from a long day again you can feed yourself some protein and some healthy um, healthy vegetables and keep your blood sugar more balanced it's amazing how blood sugar imbalance is a major stress that sometimes we don't realize is happening